This biofalls is getting popped out and we are gonna build a wetland filter right in here. Coming down, we're gonna use that same waterfall stone and come all the way in and filter that pond. It's gonna be a fun day. I love my job. This is the science of this. There we go. What do you think? So the digging has begun. I've got the slave labor who are uh, preferring this over <laughs> over online school and this is what happens when you build a water feature at pond mom's house <laughs> working with kids i've been doing the same thing when i was their age <laughs> one rock at a time <laughs> we dug that corner like a hundred times yeah welcome to construction world the water is coming up what do you think i love it, I love it. is you. that a good mother's day gift it's more than a good mother's day gift <laughs> All right, there's our dingo, there's Chris, there's my mom's house, and we are about to add a wetland filter to my mom's long-standing water feature just because she wants cleaner water. Good morning, Juan. You ready to do this, you, me, and the kids? <laughs> they are quite excited. I have been listening to them talk for the last six months about this. When are you coming? Good morning, Randy. Good morning. You ready for this? Ready. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. A little cool, but that's good. Yeah. All right, so we got right here. This biofalls is getting popped out, and we are gonna build a wetland filter right in here. Coming down, we're gonna use that same waterfall stone and come all the way in and filter that pond. It's gonna be a fun day. I love my job. So right up there we have a Biofalls 4000. This is the very first spillway ever installed but there's no biological filtration. And then over here we have the Biofalls 2500. The only reason this was put in was my mom wanted to be able to have a view from her kitchen window of a waterfalls. But this filter right here with, there's the snorkel, there's the centipede, there's the aqua blocks. This will probably be 10 times the amount of filtration as just that has. So right up in there, we're gonna start digging and pop that out. And by the end of the day, we'll have a beautiful aquascape ecosystem wetland filter to filter this amazing pond with as many fish and as many times as they wanna feed them a day. What'd you say, Ryan? I packed like a thousand of these. So you put it in the package, you take it out of the package, yep. huh? <laughs> he's been working in assembly as he's home from college and doing online school. So there's the aqua blocks, putting these together right now, and these are gonna go in the ground right over there when we put the liner in, and we're gonna have to take that rocks out right now. My nephew and my two sons are putting together aqua blocks. Alrighty, this is the science of this. There we go. What do you think? Good one. Beautiful upper pool. When we put the rocks in, it won't be a perfect circle. Taking the biofall stones out right now, and then we're gonna pop that biofalls out. So the digging has begun. I've got the slave labor who are uh, preferring this over, <laughs> over online school. Right, Brett? All right, that's my nephew, that's my other nephew. He's running the technical stuff. We got one, we're digging up the Biofalls 2500. This entire area in here is where we're putting in uh, wetlands and dumping all that dirt and taking it out. Okay, out with the old, in with the new. Pull it out there. All right, we'll reuse that. It's perfectly good, the Biofalls 2500, but it does not have anything compared to this when it comes to filter capacity. One and even. So we're checking the water level that the waterfall is going to be at. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so we'll build up a little bit on the outside edge there. But literally, we just took the biofalls, cut it up. We're going to be able to actually just overlap it, right? Yeah. We don't have to do a seam here. We can just overlap it. But I got the seam tape in case we need it. What do you think, Rye? And this is what happens when you build a water feature at Pond Mom's house. <laughs> Blueberry muffins? And right out there is where the kids are working. Look at all that soil. It's amazing how when you dig a hole, how much it expands. That is a lot of soil. This is why it's important to have the right equipment. 
All right, we just got the hole excavated. We put six aqua blocks down there temporarily. So any more excavation needed? Okay, a little clean up this corner and there we go. Not bad guys, under two hours to dig that. All right, they got a foot. There you go, boys. <laughs> yep. Working with kids. I've been doing the same thing when I was their age. <laughs> One rock at a time. The rocks have arrived, and they gotta come all the way over here, right to there. Putting in the underlayment, as soon as that goes in, then we put down the rubber liner, as soon as that goes in, the snorkel and the centipede, followed by the aqua blocks, and then we can start bringing the rocks back. Okay, there's the kids with the liner, and then this is gonna be the interface, so we got some extra dirt to help push behind it once we put the liner in. Time for the liner. So here's the old liner where we pulled the biofiles out. We put the new liner on top of it. We're backfilling, the new liner will drape in here and there will never be able to get water below it because it's compressed soil beneath it. So this is just an overlap, that's all we're doing. The snorkel and the centipede and then the aqua blocks on top of that. Okay, aqua blocks. Woo! We'll put the pipe, the pipe in so we can hook up the pump. Yep. All right, there goes the first block. Ready? Cool. Aqua blocks are going in, new line is put in, gonna to connect to the old line over there for the biofalls. A new wetland will be born. <laughs> we dug that corner like a hundred times. Yeah, welcome to construction world. Washing the muddy rocks down, and then right down there, we'll be sucking it out. And that smaller stuff will help get everything filtered out perfectly. Okay, you can see how it's working. All the muddy water is down there. Now we're gonna suck it out. All right, this is the fun part now. So we're just taking these big, beautiful limestone moss rocks and we're just putting them around the edges so that we don't have a perfect circle. We're just gonna move them in and out, take some of the soil out maybe even dig and backfill a little bit. So once we put all these rocks in and finish up washing down the gravel, I mean, we're gonna be done. So now we're just doing the edging. I'm gonna move this rock back in here, this rock a little bit up, and just take the whole thing and make it look natural up here. Hey, ask Pat Mom what she thinks. I thought it's looking great. I'm fascinated by it. I'm fascinated. Now we are just gonna take the new pipe, hook it up to the old pipe, and put a ball valve in there because this pump actually feeds the spillway over there. So, and then use some primer and some PVC glue and hook it up to the old pump that used to be hooked up to the biofalls. Over. Okay, so here's the interface. We're gonna foam this in. All the water's gonna go that way. Remember, the old biofalls was ended right there, and now look at what it is replaced with. Water is coming out clean. This giant wetland filter. At least 10 times, if not more, filtration. All right, Brett, learn how to do foam, buddy. It just diverts it, it's a 95% water sealant. And then we're gonna take this and backfill it with soil. And there's the sun. What do you think, Ram Man? Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding indeed. Okay, 
Just finishing the edging here. So you can see how nice it is with the, the liner folded back on itself, gravel on one side, dirt on the other. Plants will go in there, mulch. And this is the edging is so important. So we'll pull that back, backfill with soil, gravel on the top. Hide that up, snorkel's covered, doing the edges. And then there's the fitting going in. We're just hiding that. Okay, the water is coming up. It's gonna be like two inches deep in there. It's gonna come right off over here. It's actually cleaner than I thought it would be, that water. Let's see this come. Hey, hey, hey. It's starting. And there is our wetland. Water's coming up a little dirty, but not bad. Look at that. Not bad, guys. Not even three o'clock, and we have this beautiful wetland put in. <laughs> <laughs> Put a potted plant over on top of the snorkel for clean outs and we're good to go. Checking the edges. You can see a little bit of the dirt coming off into the pond, but in 24 hours that will be clean. Great. What do you think? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Is that a good Mother's Day gift? <laughs> It's more than a good Mother's Day gift. Hey, you made me poppy seed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Oh, that's perfect, Randy. Here we go. Find the ball bearer. Not for me. <laughs> hey, Juan, there you go, buddy. Now the work will completely cease. Uh, it's not a dos equis for this one. <laughs> good job. Not even three o'clock and we did it with a bunch of kids. It was a great day. Kind of wanted to show this. This is what we pulled out of there. That Biofalls 2500 and it was replaced with this wetland. And this wetland right here is probably 10 times the amount of efficiency. There's nothing on the planet that will filter a pond as good as a giant wetland like this filled with the big gravel and the small gravel and the constant upflow through the aqua blocks going through the gravel and going back in. Just a spectacular day. A project like this we could do with all this Missouri moss rock all the stone, all the excavation, the liner, the underlayment, snorkel, the centipede, the aqua blocks. Something like this would probably run around seven to eight thousand dollars for us to do. And this is kind of the premium filtration system for a water feature right here. And there is the finished results. We just planted it up yesterday with these beautiful canna. Look at how gorgeous this looks. It just looks so natural in here. It replaced the biofalls. We got a little lily back there. It's just spectacular. I think my mom hid the snorkel with this little statue over here and it's just such a much bigger filter for this and you can kind of tell how beautiful the water quality is not that they've ever had too many issues but the thing is they feed their fish all the time and you can see the fish right here and of course my mom never wants to get rid of her fish so beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond updated with a wetland filter which is an upgrade from the small biofalls that she used to have so that she doesn't have to get rid of any of her fish and you know what they say happy pond mom happy pond guy <laughs> but look at how beautiful that looks finished just terrific and that is what a filter should look like i love my job <laughs>